Welcome to our Love, Love series. series. I'm Camilla Letty, the coordinator of health and well-being, and this is Vicky Walsh, and I'm a relationships and sex education specialist, and I'm going to be answering all your questions on love, relationships, and sex. How to get into a healthy relationship. So I'd say, first of all, you really want to know yourself. Look at your past relationships, what's worked well and maybe what hasn't. And is there some inner work you need to do? Define your own values and goals and know your boundaries. You want to be in a relationship where you can communicate openly and you both prioritize mutual respect. Look out for some of those red flags, such as somebody isolating you away from your friends or not respecting you enough. You want to feel really safe and secure in a healthy relationship. Can you give me some safe online dating tips? Yes. So the first thing I would say is think about yourself and why do you actually want to go dating? Have your values very clear and think about your expectations and what you want to get out of the experience. Remember, the higher self-worth you are, the healthier the relationships you're probably going to attract. Now, I would suggest that you use a reputable platform when you're online dating because they have lots of safety features built in. Don't share any personal information. And in fact, when you move off the app to chat to somebody, you might like to email or use a separate app so they don't know your private um, telephone number. And also you don't want to give them your address or the university that you're studying at just yet. Take your time with it. You don't need to rush. So you could go and just meet someone for a coffee. And I would advise going into a safe area so you're very clear on where you are and you're not left vulnerable. So think about your transportation options to and from a date. It can be quite normal for Italian men, especially to offer to come and collect you in their car or on their scooter. And I would advise maybe not doing that for the first couple of dates until you really get to know somebody. Another thing is to trust your instincts. If you feel in any way, a bit uncomfortable on a date it's okay to say goodbye and cut the date short even if they've traveled all the way across Rome to come and see you trust your instincts and maybe have a, a get out excuse ready so that you can leave the date early if you need to you don't owe anyone your time and your company you want to tell a trusted friend where you are so that at least one person understands where you're going to be and maybe check in with them throughout the date so that they know that you're safe Think about drinking on dates as well. You might want to have a sober date. Um, you've got to check that, keep an eye out on drinks to make sure that they're not being spiked. And think about how we cannot make very wise decisions often when we're drunk or at least very tipsy. So you might want to curb the drinking for the first couple of dates. So if you follow those um, tips, I hope that you have a really good dating experience. Good luck.